Hey, what's up guys? All right, so we left off working on the firewall, right? And I didn't show you guys how I built any of this stuff last time. Kind of messed up. But right now we're working on these little little tabs here. I got to finish putting in the tab there. And I got to do some tabs over here. And then I got to finish dyeing that plate in to the wall but right now we're gonna cut up the tabs while the men so let's get to it so what I'm doing is I'm cutting every one with a plasma cutter so we have this inch and a half flat stock it basically kind of fits right in there perfect and then welding it in one piece at a time The whole idea is basically I'm putting it all together and then later I'm gonna weld it all solid because it's just tapped right now and then I gotta grind everything smooth. That's gonna take a bit. But right now, making everything, welding it together, then yeah, one step at a time. First, finish the tabs, we gotta drill holes. Then we gotta weld the nuts for the bolts because like I said, all of this is gonna be removable. So, finish the tabs, then do the holes. So we got another piece cut. Oh, right here. Had to make a little adjustments. But, that's cut. That's gotta get put just about right there if you can see that. I'll show you. Right in there. See where this is going? It's got to kind of, and look, I put a little nut that's welded on the other side of that, and I'm going to drill a hole into this so I can mount them together. So that's going to go there, just like that. Weld it in right now. I will move on. All right, that's welded in. Now we gotta do a tab from there to there. We can kinda connect everything together. All right, we got a cut. It's in there. Took us a few tries, but we got it. Back her in. All right. Just put that little tab in. We got that one in. Still gotta drill a hole there. We can bolt that down. I gotta weld the tab from here. Oh no, actually from here over and then over that one. Oop. Flick stick is blocking us. I'm right to here. I spilled all my washers earlier. There we go. Alright, so let's do it. Let's weld those two tabs. So we're working on the next piece here. It's gonna go right up this wall and it's gonna connect to here. So what I did was cut out a little piece of cardboard, match her up, and we got it lined up perfectly. So we did that, and then we traced it on a piece of steel. I think it looks pretty good, right? And now this is gonna go right in there. If I can hold it up. Look how nice that fit is. So this is going to go there, I'm going to weld that on, but I'm also going to cut another one, like a strip, and I'm going to weld it to this wall, and I'm going to bolt it. I'm going to bolt this, this whole plate, to the edge. So I'm going to cut another one, weld it, I'm going to bolt it right through. Alright, check it out. So first, weld that one in there, see it? And then this one is going to be welded to this removable piece. And I decided I'm not gonna put any bolts there. Uh, for right now, I'm gonna put like um, like foam in between the two so it doesn't rattle. But at least when I bolt this tight, that'll stay tight up against that. And then I still have to fill in a little gap at the top, you can see. But for right now, 
I'm gonna weld that, tack it into place, check it out, see if it's good, and move on to that little top piece. All right, so we finished this side, right? We finished the curve up, I tacked it in there. Also put a little piece at the top you can't really see. And now I'm working on this side here. So you see these little gaps? Yeah, we can't have those gaps, right? And I put this plate in, right? So now it's gonna go right up to there. I have to weld it to the body. And then now I have to cut this out so I can weld the tab out this way. And I'm able to ah, put sealant down, stuff like that. So it kind of sits nicely. And also here too, I gotta do the same thing here. I don't want everything to be filled in, looking good. Like this looks really good. Obviously these cuts aren't, I mean the cuts are good, but just it's gotta be grinded and all that kind of stuff. And now I, I have to finish this too, but we're gonna work on that right now. And then that's next. So we're gonna do that. Hey, keep going. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut this straight down right on the body. So I can just get that out of the way and I'm gonna weld a piece of sheet metal down and then out so I can overlap that pretty good. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna cut that out, just get it out of the way. Go from there. Got a little fire going on. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. Get that out. What the hell is that doing down there? Whew. It wouldn't be the uh, wouldn't be the first time I had a fire in this garage. I caught a whole car on fire, but I put it out. We were good. Not this truck. Uh, that'd be bad. Put you back over there. So, oh, let me show you. So we got that out. Got it cut nice and smooth. Now we're gonna weld sheet metal down and then stick it out so I can lay that down nicely. So, gonna cut it up. Let's do it. All right, so this is how we do most of my pieces. You know, all these little things. Grab a piece of cardboard, all right? Especially this right here, it's gonna be pretty easy to make. So, essentially, I want it to line up with that. Right there, that kind of, that angle. Can you see it? You should be able to see it pretty good, all right? Yeah. So we want to line up with that angle, same as the floor, right? So we want to put that about there, and about right there is pretty good. I can always cut it a little bit later. And then we want to scribe it from the back side. Luckily, we can do that. If not, you just got to keep marking it and cutting it until you kind of get it, right? If I can even reach this side, I don't even get it. I can barely okay I can't really get it that good but that little piece I'm gonna cut it a little bigger so we'll go a little by little until we get the proper size so I'm just gonna cut it like I said I'm gonna cut it a little bigger because we don't really need to go through a lot of cardboard right now I always run out of this stuff Ooh. always run out so a little more a little more there and the stuff doesn't have to be dead on you are welding it you can fill tiny gaps you don't want too big a gaps but you can fill small ones so, that looks pretty good. Just a little bit less right there. And I can, uh, maybe a little bit less here. If I can, damn, cut this thing. Damn. That's a pretty good fit right there. A little more. Whew. All 
right, so now let's grab this over to a piece of metal, cut it out. All right, so got the piece. We're gonna get the marker. Scribe it on to our nice little piece of metal we got here. Cut it out. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Can't really tell, but cut. All right, not a bad cut. Uh, it's a little hot though. Oh, it's in the bucket of water. Good. All right. Let's test this. We got a little tiny piece here, and it seems to fit pretty good. Hard to tell the whole thing, but so we're gonna weld this in. Just tack it. We're tacking everything. And then we gotta weld the little flat stock out. But first, weld that in. Go from there. That's in. All right. So now it's. A little tab out. Yeah, let's do it. So we got it cut. I got the magnet get in there, holding it into place. I still gotta just gotta push it over a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna weld it in. I'll show you guys. Alright guys, so that's in the little piece, right? And that sticks out to about here. That's right, it's to Tell, but and this piece pushes up to it nice and solid and I can put a piece of like um, foam underneath this to seal it tight but I had to change a thought I don't like this being underneath the floor and laid I'm gonna cut this and then weld it to the floor so all this stuff just rests right on top rests right on top this piece just lifts right up But I like that. That's nice. We're gonna do that one right now. Then I think this side is, this little spot's done. We're gonna do that, and I'm gonna do this floor right now. All right, I'm pretty much gonna show you guys the reason why I put this in here before we finish that stuff up. But I gotta cut this floor. This is in the way. This is in the way. So we're gonna remove these right now, and this was, whole reason for this project you know so we can basically pull everything apart with if I had the shifter off I could get this off real easy. I'm gonna probably take it off right now. I forgot I actually welded these two together with one little tack. Oh, look at that. It's nice. It's off. That's all. And now you can work on the back of the engine. I don't know why truck companies don't do this. Well, I know why. It's a lot of work, a lot of shit, and whatever. But I'm doing it. Most of you guys might not like it, but I do. It's kind of a cool feature. Now you got access to your transmission, back of your engine. You have all this room to work on. And you can also remove this piece and this top one and the side ones. Everything. You can get to literally everything. I don't need to remove this one, otherwise I would, but at a further date. You guys saw me build it, so let's get that piece out now. So now, look, a few more stuff. Really, a couple bolts. I can basically, look at that, it's out. access to the entire motor. I love it. A lot of work. I could have I could have just welded everything together. It been done weeks ago. That's so easy to build. This is not so easy. Challenging. So why won't do it? 
But let's cut this out, get it welded in there, and be done. So we got this piece cut. I don't know if you can tell. So we can see through it now. So now instead of it being underneath the floor, it's gonna be the floor. And then we're still gonna bolt that piece to there. Well, that piece right there. And that will be removable. This one won't be removable anymore, which it's fine. I don't need it to be. I have plenty of stuff up here and this will make it a lot easier to build without that being removable. So we're gonna weld her in. I can finally weld this down to there. It's gonna be nice, but let's weld her in. All right, that's in, but uh, maybe I can, I don't know if I should fill it or not. It's kind of a big gap, I don't know. It's actually not that big, you know, but that's in. I'm probably gonna have to put a brace in the floor itself because it's kind of flimsy, but I think when everything's mounted to it, it's gonna really strengthen it up. So let's put everything back together. See how, see how it looks, see how everything fits together. All right, so we got everything back together. It doesn't take long at all, right? And since this floor is welded in, everything kind of flows nice. I mean, I have to, so I still have to weld everything solid and grind it smooth, but there's little things here and there gotta be fixed, it's a rough. So now working on filling this little gap and filling this gap kind of film this one so i'm going to weld the plate higher i wasn't sure so i made it a little shorter but now i'm going to weld it higher it's going to mount to here and this is going to be one big piece removable so let's cut a piece for there and there let's weld it in all right so we got the next piece 12 and three quarter i forget what i got cut it six and a half 12 and three quarter Six and a half. Let's get this marked real quick. Good. It is hot in here, fellas. We're just about a hundred today. But still gotta get stuff done. So you know, I work on the project. This for fun, even though it's hot. Be right back. Get the first one. Get the back of the up. Get her in. All right, we got it. Just a couple screws that were sticking through the firewall, but we don't have to worry about them no more. So we got the piece on there nicely. So now, time to weld this sucker up. It's in there. Now we can so tighten this up. Nice. Put this down for a minute. So now, well, make a plate going out and in. All right, so we got that welded in there. Just tacked in, of course, like usual. So the next step is we're gonna weld a plate there and then another one over that. Then we gotta weld one up there down. It's a whole to do. But at least we got that done. That's nice, all sealed up. I'm gonna use that like automotive caulk to seal that up. It sucks how this is just gonna be metal. So I might do like sound deadening paint, you know, but I need as much room as possible for the pedals. There's really no room on this thing. But we made as much room as we can with uh, <laughs> about five eighths of spare on the engine. It might hit, it might not. We'll see. But for now, we're done with everything today. Um, the next step is I'm going to finish that up. I might take it all apart and grind it solid. I mean, weld it solid and then maybe grind it smooth. I'm not sure. I kind of like the rough look to it. So I might do carpet, I might not, we'll see. You know, so a few more steps, gotta bolt that down as well. I forgot about that, oh, my mask, throw it, on. throw it on the little old Dodge seats that we got laying back there. But we're done for now. 
I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.